Over the years, I've built up quite an archive of photographs from my days out on the Lakeland Fells. And on occasions, these pictures get used under license for promotion material, editorial, and in magazines. And this picture at Mardale Head is one that's been used recently in a calendar by a local business. And it reminded me of a really good day, a short walk out on the fells in the far eastern region of the Lake District. And that's the film you're about to see. This walk begins at the southern end of the Horsewater Reservoir. I've parked in a lay-by, just about half a mile short of the road end at Mardale Head. From the car park we'll head east up to Ritchie Crag before heading south over Selside Pike across Captain Welter Bog to Branstree before heading north to descend down the ridge back to the car park. We're here at the uh, top end of Horsewater Reservoir which you can see down there behind me. Looking up to Harterfell, Mardale Lil Bell, High Street and Kitsy Pike. It's half past seven in the morning. We've just seen a rather nice sunrise, lighting up all of the tops of the fells. It's clouded over a bit now, but for a while the colours were just wonderful. And today we're heading up to Southside Pike and Branstree, which are actually, let's have a look. That's Southside Pike up there. And Branstree and Arthur Crag are up on there. It's not a long walk, but it should be rather nice today. The forecast is good. There's a bit of high cloud, thin cloud though, so it could burn off. And if it's anything like it was yesterday, it'll be glorious. The old peat huts around here make great subjects for both photographs and paintings. So I did a bit of sketching and did a bit of wandering around before heading up onto the corpse road where we soon came into the sunshine which was now appearing. And it wasn't long before we reached the top of this little summit called Rowan Treethwaite. It's got a lovely old lichen covered cairn. quarter past nine in the morning. I haven't actually walked very far, I've just been wandering around enjoying the day and uh, the sun is now up as you can see. Jackets off, hats off and uh, I'm in no hurry, especially when you get scenery like this. Fabulous, isn't it? Well, I suppose I better move on. Off to uh, Ritchie Crag next, and then Southside Pike and Branstree. We're actually not going very far today, a couple of fells, but really the idea was to come out and enjoy the weather. But it is a nice route, I've done it before, and these conditions today are absolutely perfect. You see, it's not even blowing my hair about, but uh, let's move on. The cloud had now been almost completely burned off by the sun and it was a beautiful day. And it wasn't long before we reached the top of Ritchie Crag. From there it was a straightforward walk up Selside End to the top of Selside Pike. But I took a slight diversion to have a look down into Swindell. It's a wonderful view and you can look along the length of the valley right up to the High Pennines and Crossfell. As we headed up the ridge, two red deer came in from the right, stopped briefly, looked at us, and then carried on over the skyline. The top of Southside Pike is fairly flat, with a lot of grass, but right in the middle, at the top, is a large pile of stones, probably very old, and they've been formed into a wind shelter. 
whoever gathered all these rocks together did a good job. So that's Southside Pike Summit. From here, we're going to go on to Brand Street. Now, Brand Street is to our south, and between here and there, there's a fence. If you keep the fence to your left all the time, you can't go wrong for navigation. And if the, the good path follows the fence all the way along and up to the rise, you'll see two cairns, which we'll come to shortly, but just keep the fence to the left, and uh, you can't go wrong. Part way along the fence, you'll see this sort of gate come style. If you cross over that, you can get up to Hyde House, but we're not going there today. We're going to carry on alongside the fence. And now we've reached the cairns of Arthur Crag. In Wainwright's day, there was only one here, the far one on the skyline. This one, the lower one, may have been built as recently as the late 1990s, but they're both almost matching in size, standing at about seven or eight feet tall. And from the Kent is a straightforward walk up to the summit plateau of Branstreet. The summit of Branstreet is fairly unassuming and flat, but it is unique in the fact that this circular concrete ring by the Ordnance Survey is the only one that's left on the 214 fells. There's a small cairn next to it. And if you look west over the top of the cairn, there you'll see the Skull Fells, over 15 miles away. For us, we're going to leave the summit, heading towards the northwest in the direction of Kidsty Pike. And we're looking for the top of the North Ridge. The path here is a bit faint, but it's easy going and you can easily make your own route because we're going to head down the ridge towards the car park with Hall's Water down on our left. This ridge gives some brilliant views over towards the High Street range and a great view of Rough Crag on the ridge that leads up to the High Street Plateau. And again, we pass by another couple of old peat huts they make great subjects for pictures. And now we're on the path, a steep zigzag gully almost, that leads back down to the road. This is the way that they would have taken the peat from the huts back down to the village. And right by the path is this huge boulder marked on the map as hollow stone. And even Wainwright notes that it's a great place for taking shelter in bad weather. Another short section of steep descent and we're at the river of Roan Treethwaite Beck. A delightful little area, ideal for a picnic.
and there we are, we're back at the road. We just have to turn right and the car is just round the corner. short walk along the road, some good views over towards Horswater and Rigandale, and that's the end of this walk. And that's a route that I'd recommend doing, no matter what the season, I was just very lucky on that day in winter. But if you've enjoyed the film, do click the like button and even better, subscribe to my channel where you'll be kept updated with my new films. But once again, thanks for watching.